Hey y'all, what's up? So, y'all, this is about like, so my video, when I first put my camera down, get ready to record, uh, the bright, the lighting looks real good. But when I actually, well, this light ain't that bad, but it's not 100% either. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the light. Is that better? Kinda, yeah. Okay, so, excuse my hair. Uh, I was, we came, I, we just got back from, uh, P Pittsburgh. And we were driving back and out, sleeping in the car. And my hair kind of got a little messed up. But, I'm still cute. Okay. So, today, look for, look for, um, upcoming videos like, a part three music league tutorial. Um, and, uh, that's the only upcoming video I think I'm gonna, uh, I plan on doing. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and another one. How to apply fake vampire fangs. And it's not actually the ones you get from the store. It's gonna be, like, home, home items at home. Like, fake nails. Like that. Um, now, I don't know... See, and you can do it two ways, but that's gonna be in that video. This is another video on that. So this is a video on. It's a, where we're gonna be basically doing this thing. It's called this video on. They guess your age. Magic trick. So we're gonna do this. Basically, the fall and the tricks that they give us. So, we need a calculator. And I got a calculator on this phone. So, I'm going to use my calculator on this phone. Uh oh. Pick any number from 1 to 10. I'm going to pick 10. And we're going to do that. But I got to go to the bathroom real quick. So, BRB. Okay, y'all, I'm big, I'm big. Okay, so back to the video. I picked 10, so step two. Multiply the number you cho chose by two. Okay, we're going to the calculator. 10 times two, oops, 10. Well, no, 10 times 2, that's easy, that's 20. Step 3. Add 5 to your total. Mmm, that's 25. Step 4. Multiply your new total by 50. So 25 times 50. That's 1,250. I hope I did that right. Set five. If you already had your birthday this year, add the number 1767 to your total. Why well, did not you have a birthday yet? So we're not adding that. If you had not had your birthday this year, then add 1766 to your top to your Wait, we might need to get So we're gonna go back and do it from step one all over again because I'm kinda getting confused now with this. So 10 times, what they say? 2 equals 20. Then times 50. Wait a minute. Then 20 times, wait, wait let's go back. Sorry, y'all, but. Step 
step three. Yeah, we're back to step three because add five to your total. Then step four multiply your new total by fifty times fifty. Then so I was going at the right uh you know I was going at the right pace, but not right pace. What's the word I'm calling for? Step five. If you already have pause. Ah, oh, we're adding seven. We're adding seventeen sixty six to the um to the one thousand two hundred fifty that we got. So we're adding seventeen sixty six. I have not had my birthday in two thousand seventeen yet. So. Sixty six equals three thousand three thousand sixteen three thousand sixteen hundred sixteen whatever <laughs> um then what do you do after that that's where we kind of went back so this B kind of this is this music that's in the back kind of chill subtract from your, from your total the Subtract from your total of the year which you were born. For example, 2001. Subtract from the, your total of the year. Ah, uh, okay. So we gotta subtract from 3,100, 3,016. 3, 3, we gotta subtract, subtract. The, the year I was born. 2004, that's when I was born. Um, then, what we do it for that? Now your total should be a three-digit number. Well, it is not. My number is that it's still like one, two, three, four. It's still a four-digit number. The first number of your total is the number you chose at the beginning. That is so, cause the number I chose, look y'all, number I chose, wait, can y'all see that junk? The number I chose was 10 and then 12. That's my, that's my age. So, okay, okay, okay. So now we're gonna do like, I will guess your name thing. In this video, I will use extraordinary power of math to make an unbelievable prediction. No matter if your name is Adam or Zira, the end result will be your name. But we'll see. How are you going to do that using a calculator? How are you going to do that using math? I don't get that. But we'll see. If this is not... Yo, if it's not my name, I'm going to really like dislike. <laughs> I'm not playing. Mind Adidas. I will guess your name. Okay. Did it get started? Guess my name. Shoot. This crazy trick works with just some fairly simple math and using it seven easy steps. All you have to do is just follow all the directions carefully. Okay. Math Adidas. Okay. Have the sorry number be the total amount of the letters you have in your name. Okay. I have K E N N E D Y. I have seven letters in my name. So, K E N N E D Y. Yeah, I was making sure. Seven. Then, step two. If you have 
have a vowel in your name. Add five. What's vowels again? Oh, A E I O U. Okay. Um, if you have a vowel in your name, add <laughs> five. Okay. So add five for each vowel? Is that what they're trying to say? A, I don't have an A in my name. E, I have an E in my name, so that's five. Um, I don't have an I in my name. O, no, you, no, I only have, I only have one five, okay. If you don't have any vowels, add ten. Okay, I had one vowel, so I had five. Step three. If you're a girl, multiply your number by two. Okay. So 12 times two, 24. If you're a boy, multiply your number by four. Okay. Well, that's for boys. All right. Then step four. If you're a girl, subtract four from your total. Subtract four. Okay. I don't know how this number is gonna. Wait, like I'm so confused right now. How is the number gonna predict your age? I mean, your not predict your age, predict your name. Like for real, I get the age one. I don't get this one. I don't know how where this is gonna go, y'all. Step five. If you're a girl, divide your total by two. My total right now is twenty. So divide by what? By two. And get, I got 10. And if you're a boy, you divide by four. You're a total by four. Step six. Now subtract two back from your total. Dang, we got, this is a lot of math we're doing right here. Eight, I got eight. Step seven. How many steps are there? This video is long as crap. Not an actual video is long as crap because the video is only for minutes. But all the steps we have to do just for them to guess our name, like, is, are they serious? Finally, take away the number of letters in your name from your current total. Okay, so I'm taking away seven. That leave me with one. <laughs> Can we add now? Why are we taking away? Now you should only be left with a number between 1 and 100. Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> In the following list of names, find your number to reveal the unbelievable prediction. Okay. Well, they're going down the list, like... Okay, I'm one, y'all. So... Yo, if they bring my name, I'll swear to God! No, this is gonna be weird, y'all. I'm gonna throw this one of my name. I want. Uh, <laughs> I'm all the way at one. Well, we're almost at one. Well, halfway there. You know, I should just skip. No, I want to. Y'all, I'm so excited. Like. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's one? One is your name. What? That that that. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. This not ended like this. This not ended like this. Yo, this is ended like this. Yeah, it was. Yo, I'm the one. Yo, it said number one is your name, but everybody else's name was on there. Counting down from 100. What was it? Ah! I'm that big this life. Let's do another your name. If this one's Today I will be guessing your first and le last letter of your name. It's a simple math trick.
All you do is all the blah, blah, I don't care. I just want to get to the point. Choose a number from what? Which resembles your first letter in the following chart. Okay. My, the first letter of my name is K. So, K is 422. So, we're going to put 422 in the calculator. I don't know why I'm trying this again, but you know what? Now remember the number that number and perform the following operations. Well, I, I already put the number down, so I don't need to remember it. First, add 10. Add 10 to the number? Or... I guess, because... What else would you add 10 to? Add 10. Next, divide by 3. Wait, 422 plus 10 divide. Pause? 10 divided by 3 is. is 3. So. So we have three right now. Now I find the square root. Oh no! Oh no! I love the square mark, but I'm not trying to do that. The other one was easier, but the other one they played me. Okay, they really did. Um, but so y'all, um, this is the end of my video. Coming up with you, we do more of those. Yeah. But until I do my music lead tutorial part three or the nail video, which I probably will do um, after I do the music lead tutorial or before, I don't know. Um, the nail video, it's like, it's not a nail video, but it's like shaping a nail into a fake vampire fang. So stay in tune for those videos and comment down with you when you do more of these little quizzes, these little math tricks. Comment, but don't let me know. Y'all better look at the video first before y'all request me to do it because it better not be no algebra stuff. Cause I ain't, honey, I ain't into that. Okay, okay, deuces. I took off from school today. Um, well, I didn't take off. My mom took me off of school today because we had to drop back. But it's y'all like don't don't. I will punch y'all in the face if y'all ever don't request me from doing no algebra or nothing like that. No, I am not doing metrics to do that involve algebra or nothing like that. Okay. Okay, deuces.